Hi everyone, welcome back to ASFC underscore chemistry. What I'd like you to do is consider this molecule just here. This molecule is 1-methylcyclobutuanine. And what I'd like you to think about is, when this molecule reacts with HCl, what is the structure of the major product that would be formed, and why is that product the major product? I'm going to go through the mechanism in full in just a moment, but what I recommend you do now is just pause the video for a moment and have a go at outlining that mechanism to create the major product that you would predict, and then try and give an explanation of why you think that is the major as opposed to the minor product. Okay everyone, hopefully this is what your mechanism looks like, but even if it doesn't, I'm just going to take you through what this mechanism shows and all the features of it to ensure we make this our major product over here. Now, starting off the mechanism, always the same way. You always show the double bond reaching out here to this hydrogen, which is delta plus. This double bond is an area of high electron density. And so it attacks the electrophile just here, and this bond then breaks, so this pair of electrons then moves onto the chlorine with the delta minus charge. Your curly arrows, remember, show the movement of a pair of electrons, and you must make sure that they are drawn just like this, starting from bonds and going to atoms at this point. Now, this intermediate here is a tertiary carbocation. It's a tertiary carbocation because the carbon here with the positive charge has one, two, three carbon groups connected to it. I did have a choice of making this carbon from the original double bond, the carbocation, but this carbocation would have only been a secondary and a tertiary carbocation, one with three carbon containing groups around it, is more stable. And so if we're trying to make the major product, we need to show the intermediate which was more stable. You can see then that the chlorine, or should I say chloride, now it has a negative charge, attacks from this lone pair, so showing the movement of this pair of electrons now, the carbon with the positive charge, which means then these electrons are going to be used to make a bond to this carbon. So the final structure will show the chlorine in this position on the same carbon as this CH3. We can see that reflected here in the final product. All the activity around this carbon from our intermediate now shows the Cl bonded. And our name for our major product is 1-chloro-1-methylcyclobutane. We could have made an alternative product, which would have been 1-chloro-2-methylcyclobutane, but that would have been the minor product. As suggested, that would have been formed using a secondary carbocation, putting the positive charge here instead of there. But this more stable carbocation produces this major product. Remember that this is brand new to the AS OCR specification, and so that means it's almost certainly going to be on the exams either at the end of the first or the second year of the new A level. I hope that clears up any points you have about carbocation stability or about which is the major and minor products from certain reactions. Don't forget you can subscribe to this channel or you can send us a tweet at ASFC underscore chemistry.